Hey everybody, it's Ryan here from Android Calls. I'm here to do my review on the Samsung Galaxy Note 5. This device really is a nice departure from the typical Samsung devices, just like we've seen with the S6 uh, and the S6 Edge, that this new aluminum side built uh, really feels sturdy, quality build in the hand. So what does this really have? Well, we know it's 5.7 inch. It's the Note model. That's what means it has the pen. It has... Uh, ton of stuff. Four gigs of RAM, octa-core processor, quad HD display. Uh, what is the battery on this one? Let's see if we can take a look here. I've got the 32 gig model, but it also comes in 64. I'm trying to see where the battery was listening. A 3000 milliamp battery. I, would, I kind of expected a little bit more out of that, but it's been doing quite well. I really like the very narrow bezels on the side of the display. So it really allows you to be a little more, you know, closer and up to, um, dealing with, uh, you know, a very smaller device. That's really nice. It really makes you really feel like you're just holding the screen and that's it. Uh, I like how they've kind of curved the back end just like the S6 model is. So just because I wasn't a fan of the S, the, the Edge, so, but that being that. <clears throat> so what was I having it besides uh, everything I just kind of said? Well, it is missing the SD card slot, as we know, but I guess we can live with that. Um, it has a nano SIM tray in there so just in case you were worrying about that it has a nano sim tray um so if you are switching over you'll have to clip your card or make sure you get a new one also for the note the brand new one this is the feature where everybody wanted this is a clip out or you know spring out kind of pen i was kind of expecting it to be a little bit looser this is actually nice and tight so you know it does take a little bit more getting out i mean yes the other ones you have to kind of hook it try to bring out this one you have to clip it and then Pull it out, and then that's the coolest feature. So once, if it's turned off screen, and you pull the pen out, you can start writing on the screen. You know, so that's kind of cool. That is a neat feature. Unfortunately, it only works if you, it's a screen off, and you start, and you pull it out to start writing. You can't just, now it's out already, I can't just start writing on it. I can't try to wake it up and do it. I have to put it in. Take it back out for it to recognize that, and then I start writing. So the pen, pen works amazingly well. As you can see, it writes very well. It's very fluid. Really nice feature. I like that. Uh, I mean, it's not a whole lot of improvement of the Note 3 and the Note 4. It, those were very good. This is, I wouldn't say much better, but definitely it's fluid. It really feels good. The fingerprint sensor. Oops. It's really good. I've uh, scanned my thumb in a couple of different rotations. Same with this thumb. I've done a couple of rotations to make sure it works. Um, the heart rate monitor in the back works just fine. You just kind of do that as well. Um, I never. I find I never really use it though. Okay, so let's get down to the actual review of the device here. Let's let's talk about this. So, uh, like I said, I really love the, the de design and the build of this phone. It really feels nice. It really feels secure. I, I'm not afraid that this thing is, um, you know, unfortunately not going to, it doesn't feel cheap. Like the other ones kind of felt cheap. You always had that plastic backing. This really is a nice departure. Uh, so out of the stylus, everybody's going to ask me, am I afraid of putting the stylus in backwards? You know what? If I hadn't seen the videos of people doing that, I wouldn't even think of putting it in backwards. Yes, it can go in there, obviously. And whoever does is either unfortunate. Let's put it that way. Just unfortunate that it might happen that way. So uh, other than that, so let's go on to the other devices. We talked about the specs. Talked to that is a nano SIM. Um, the pen like, is really nice. Like I said, not much of a, a the two and three, not much of a big difference. Um, to do, so writing on the screen we talked about. This year's model, one thing... S Note. I swear S Note had a sync feature that we could sync. And maybe I'll have to find my Note 8 to see if that happens. But otherwise, the action memos that they have are pretty good still. And nothing nothing new in that sense. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, so one of the things that I had to, I was kind of annoyed by, is that if I want to make a lock screen, and I'll just have to bring up my uh, the gallery app to show you this here. So unfortunately, when you make a, you know, you set your fingerprints up, 
and you want to make it as your lock screen, you have to make a password, like backup password for your screen just in case, you, you know, your thumb get chopped up or something. But you have to make a password, and that password has to have at least one character and one number. And it was just – that was kind of hard for me. And I, I, to be honest with you, I don't even remember what I actually set that password to be. Uh, I'm kind of confused on about which, which I use now. So if I ever lose my thumb, I'm kind of screwed. Um, yeah, so it's unfortunate that you couldn't just use a regular four-digit password or whatever you might have on other devices, my knock-on code or whatever. But that's that's okay. What else do I want to talk about here? The TouchWiz, I have to say, this is so much cleaner, so much nicer than it has been in the past. Uh, I mean, the S5, the S6 were, were pretty good. Um, and this S6 is just like, just like this one. Um, but so much cleaner, not a lot of bloat or bulk. So much so, I mean, I showed some, uh, somebody today this who had a Note 2 and they were thinking about upgrading and I showed them a Note 6, Note 5 here and they were like, wow, that is really nice. It's really clean. Uh, so, I mean, definitely if you're familiar with Note or uh, TouchWiz devices in the past, this really isn't the TouchWiz device of the past. That being said, they do have some apps as well. They do have uh, a bunch of third-party apps like Microsoft apps on there, social apps on there, and they have some of their tools on here, and they have a bunch of other Samsung apps. So there is going to be some blue, but it actually it's nowhere near what it used to be. So it's actually gotten a lot better than it has in the past. Um, so the other feature everybody's going to talk about when it comes to a Samsung this device is their camera app. I keep touching the screen like that, um, is the fact the camera. So what I like is the camera can be initiated with two taps. And I'm talking that's pretty fast, that it brings that up pretty fast, pretty good, pretty quickly. Put my little buddy there so you can see him. Um, the modes and settings are really good. Like it's actually a really nice, simple to use camera. I, I really like the fact that again, whoops. Double clicking it, bring it brings it straight into the, the camera pretty quickly. That's really nice. So all your features, you have all these different modes and and funky things as well. Um, stuff we've probably seen on all the other devices. Except I don't think in the S6 we had a pro mode. So just like we're starting to see within the uh, the G4 since they brought it in, we've now started to see features where we can play around with the shutter speed. You know, so if I want a little richer photo. You know, do I want the ISO bumped up a little bit? No, let's go back down to 100 or something. You know, and I can start playing around with some of these, these features. You know, manual focus. Which is kind of nice. Again, just the idea of getting you some cool things you can play with on the camera. So again, because everybody knows that we we don't take pictures unless we're taking pictures with our phone. It just seems to be that's the thing. So manual mode, that virtual shot, I really like that virtual shot feature. Live broadcast straight up to YouTube, so that's something only Sony thing had before. So and you can set it up with your YouTube account. Yep. So YouTube live events. I don't see no why more devices don't start doing that where you can have that. That is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, what else are we going to do in here? So that's pretty much it. I mean, in terms of the device... Um, whether you go for this guy over the S6 really comes down to whether you want that pen. Um, so you might say for the size, but I mean, to be honest with you, between the S6 and this, there's a little bit of size difference, but not by much. Uh, again, I'm just really blown away mostly by the build quality and how this really feels in the hand as a really good device. Uh, I'm quite surprised the, like I said, the thumbprint scanner works very well, you know, um, I mean, four gigs of RAM. It's gonna ha it's gonna handle anything you throw at it. Battery life on this guy has been phenomenal, but then again, I'm I don't have a SIM card in it, so it's lasted and lasted and lasted and lasted and lasted and lasted like crazy amounts. So I can't imagine that there'd be any huge drop as soon as uh, I put the SIM card in. So you're not gonna be disappointed with this. Again, it comes down to do you want a bigger size screen? So I think the S5, S6 is what, a 5.2 inch screen. This is a 5.7, so slightly larger screen. Both are quad displays. Both have great processors inside of it. This one just has a pen. So do you want a pen and a slightly bigger screen? Then the Note is for you. If you don't, then go the S6 route. Um, otherwise, this is a very, 
good device and I think you would like it if you like the pen because the pen is the boss in terms of being able to just play around and draw stuff with. That's kind of nice. So I can always just scribble away. I love being able to scribble on a screen while well, I can have other things up. All right, so thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, hope you guys have a good time, and we will see you on the next review. All right, ciao, everybody.